Well, I'm pleased this morning to be joined by Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Gupta, who is with the Indian Telecom Regulatory Authority. Dr. Gupta, hello. Good morning. Thank you for being with us today. Now, uh, when we think of India in its particular circumstances, it's an enormous country, lots of remote areas, some poverty there too. Um, how has your authority gone about improving access to information and communication technology there? In fact, uh, you'll be surprised to know that there was a time when the connectivity was so poor in our country because we, um, after having been under the colonial rule for a long time, we did not have the resources or the infrastructure to get connectivity. So what we came out with was a telecom policy by which the government, which was having the monopoly, gave up the monopoly and allowed the access or the licenses to come in for the private sector players. Once we had a new telecom policy in which we allowed the telecom service providers, that is the private sector players to come in, the revolution which took place in India is called as the first telecom revolution. And today, a, a country like ours, which is the second largest mobile technology having country, next only to China, the market, we are having, we are about to touch now 1 billion mobile telephone connections. So that is the kind of accessibility which we have been able to provide by the regulatory intervention and the governmental policies which has allowed the common person to have a mobile device and enjoy the fruits of communication. Telephones are an important uh, measure, I guess, of connectivity. The other thing is internet access. How have you been going with that program? Yes, uh, as far as internet access is concerned, I think I must confess that we are not uh, so very satisfied about the penetration of the internet. Because as you are aware, the internet connectivity requires a certain other infrastructure apart from just the spectrum and a normal 2G device, with, which is what most of our uh, people are having about from the 900 million. So what we are now doing is that we have got a very ambitious program which has been launched which is called as fiber, which is fiber optic and we are now trying to connect around 2,50,000 village panchayats. Panchayats is a local uh, governmental unit and we are laying something like 500,000 kilometers of fiber so that each of the remotest village is connected. And this is called as National Optic Fiber Network Program, which is a very specialized utility vehicle has been launched for that. And with that, we are hoping to connect the, the broadband connectivity is certainly going to improve. And what is the policy's uh, dream? What are your targets there? Can you share those with See, us? See, the targets are in about two years or so. We hope to connect this 2,50,000 villages. And uh, the, the financial outlay has already been approved by the government of India. And as you are aware, the, the policy of the new government headed by Mr. Narendra Modi is what is called as Digital India. And in this Digital India, what we aim is to ensure that if the digital dividend which has been deprived to, to the bulk of our population, they are given their dues. And once uh, the digitization on the broadcasting side, as you are aware, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India also looks after the broadcasting section. And here we have launched what is called as digitization in phases. Our two phases of digitization in the metro and the larger cities are all already complete. And with the digitization spreading to the complete country, we also hope that the cable network, which will also provide the broadband connectivity to the homes. And uh, as you are aware, if you have broadband in your own mobile device, it is one individual with a mobile a smartphone who has the connectivity. But when you give connectivity through a television inside a home, the whole family or it is more than at least five to six people who get that connectivity. So with the cable connectivity, we are hoping it is going to be a multi-pronged kind of an approach, apart from the fiber which is going to go to the village panchayats and from there the last mile connectivity through the spectrum, the wireless spectrum, we are also intending to do it through the broadband connectivity. Okay, so it sounds like an ambitious agenda. Uh, well, Dr. Gupta, thanks very much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank you.